I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerushka to a TV. Maybe a little echoey and yes I bought my other rigging but I haven't worked it out and I didn't have time <laughs> and the fact that I had these two and the opportunity to sit down with them before their big event tonight I just threw that to the curb, got my vlogging camera, put it on my tripod, stuck it up and we're here. Here we are. I am sitting down today with the two CEOs of FashionFile.com. I am in Carlsbad, San Diego because these two amazing people flew me out here for their first collaboration ever, which I could not believe. I was like, me? Me? I'm first? <laughs> I think they know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sarah Davis and this is Ben Heminger. 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 If you can believe it or not, this is Sarah's brother-in-law. She just my met the... My wife's sister. She yes, sister. Met Emily. Yeah. 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 I just met Emily. The sister yeah. of Sarah. They're everyone, yeah. everyone in this family basically <laughs> works in this company. <laughs> from <laughs> daughters. She yeah. just met Steve. Oh, right. From daughters. We were, we I were was talking to my husband and then he walked right. in behind her. I was like, oh. Yeah. And I told him, I said, why'd you walk in? You could have heard, heard gossip. I was like, oh, I ran here from the beach. <laughs> but I have a chance to sit down with these two and I want to ask them a few questions. What do you guys do? when you are shopping. Do you even bother shopping anymore? Or do you just go, why would I go into Chanel? Why would I go into Louis Vuitton? I'll tell you what, uh, yeah. I'll tell you right now, I actually do, and I think Ben, you have a similar to this, but I love shopping online. This isn't just like, cause, oh, you have your, your website, so I just, I really love the experience of shopping online. I love that you can get anything online. Like, I buy groceries online. And when it comes to luxury, is that just a no-go zone? Like, why would you? Yeah, no, I don't, I, I don't, I, I, someone came last night to your meet and greet, and she said to you, oh, did you start this business because you just have this closet filled with luxury bags? And I said, no, I actually have always in my life liked to have things I can't afford. Wow. But I don't want to like go into debt over them, but I find that I can buy things I can't afford if I buy them used. Yeah, I mean, it's tough for me to say because I'm like a guy, we have very yeah. limited <laughs> yeah. selection. I mean, she's I, married to one. She you know, I'm I mean, married. a wallet. Oh, yeah. but, I mean, this wallet, like, this seven, wallet it's been for 10 it's years. And I have some it. other guys, some other girls. It's not mine. <laughs> Because it's been hot stamped yeah, someone, someone like, sold it to us and I'm like, right. well, I'll put my credit card right here yeah. and you'll never know. <laughs> so it's like, that's kind of the mentality. It's that's like, awesome. but it, that's still the wallet. Right. Yeah. So I'm not a big luxury just, buyer right. here, but I'll tell you from my wife's standpoint, because yeah. I just, I'm not a big shopper. So I just shop what I need. Yeah. That's fine. I'm maybe a typical guy in that way. But my wife who does like bags, she does what you predicted she do. She never shop, shops a boutique. She doesn't step in because she's got an inventory cage up here. Right. And she, like, why and would you? She that's the obvious so, thing is, like, you no, never shop no. normally again. It's you like, it's all no. of your, hi, I'll just buy you, or I'll just take And really, there's yeah. there's nothing, and the, the crazy thing, I mean, I'm, I'm not just trying to sell it, but we get stuff as soon as it comes out. I know. There's just yeah. not really you have a to reason. Wait that long for the like, the, the Supreme, the yeah. Supreme that's what I said. Yeah. Collaboration I said dropped. That. We got it first got day. It. Yeah. People brought it in. So it's, it's really kind of takes the, you know, the fun out of it, the excitement of buying the boutique anyway, because yeah. you basically are the boutique. When did Ben come on board? So the interesting about Ben and I's relationship, obviously in-laws, but, um, but we actually started a different company. I went to law school and, and when I, you buy these books, they're like $250 for a book and use it for one semester. And then you're like, I've got this book I spent so much money on. So I thought, let's start a company, let's start a business where people can buy and sell their used law books. But Ben is also entrepreneurial yeah. as well. Yeah, I knew that. Obvious. And then Ben also has strengths that I don't have. I'm a spaz. I've got ideas. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm, and he goes, you know, like the Lego Birkin, sometimes he lets him go. He's like, fine. But other times, like, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, he pulls the reins. Yes. Right. Slide in front of my office. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <right. laughs> yeah. A pink. Yeah. But but see you can justify the pink slide because it saved us five hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Right. So he's like all oh, about yeah. that. You know what I mean? Ben is starting business school at UCLA. He's already that way anyway, and like there's gonna be a lot of connections and with his networking and all that. And I just figured that like that and that was just the smartest thing I ever did. Yeah. It's really it's just all of my weaknesses filled that was in. Two thousand six. And that was wow, that so was just like gas. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? At that point, then it just totally changed the trajectory yeah. of the business. Because it's really like right. me saying, well, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. did you just sit 
and watch your sister in law with this eBay bag. So you oh, know what? Oh, oh, there's a little you bit just of go, a. Oh, she a, wants me to get on board with no, her, her not luxury not bag. Right, because there's a natural partnership. Like, not only our history in Love Swap, yeah. that was, yeah. so we actually worked together on it. Yeah. But from that early stage of like eBay, you yeah. know, Sarah's doing some stuff on eBay. Um, my wife and I moved to Hawaii right. and had no jobs. We were there for a year. Nice. Like, what do we do for work? And after one day of searching for a job with a resume, I'm like, this is stupid. So I went to downtown Honolulu <laughs> to a few thrift stores because I knew there was something about fashion and right. thrift. So I'm like, what can I sell? What can I find at a thrift store in Hawaii and sell on eBay? So Hawaii sh um, Aloha shirts, men's stuff like that. But as I, I picked so I'm like, okay, this is good. before the days you could bring your phone to the thrift store. So I'm just right. like guessing, like, what's a good one? Yeah. So came home with like three bags full of like junk from a thrift store, put it on eBay, and the whole year was they just looked. a new Pacific Market was my name at the time. So, 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 so yeah, it was my eBay name. But we made our whole living an entire year on reselling. It stuff. turned into fashion type stuff. It yeah. was a lot more but, akin to the stuff. Yeah, and so the now. point is, is that. He already had so many like, fundamentals, yeah. and we had this working relationship. And quite frankly, Emily yeah. is your yeah. Me and best. Emily work together, so right. we're basically very experienced on selling fashion on eBay, totally. which is what fashion which started off. Yeah. yeah, so so, yeah, so a lot like, of that worked together. And I'm just like, okay, if we really want to grow this, I know I can't do it alone. I know I need a partner. And Ben is just like yeah, a part of that. And really, at that point, that's when it just like shh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Got some. isn't that fantastic? Right. Um, yeah, I feel like. That, that day back at how you said back in that day and that was a real eBay day yeah. Yeah. and now yeah. fast forward to now there's such more demand for security oh yeah in right. such a big way firstly yeah. right. firstly I don't never I don't even care if you would ever consider getting rid of it never get rid of your return policy oh, yeah. no. you know anyway. you obviously have all your security points checked on the return but that huh. alone to have the return because yeah. Yeah. Internet buying and online shopping is so yeah. huge now and how right. we discussed last night about mm -hmm. Chanel and how stupid they are that they're not online and I yell right. at them all the time. Don't, I'm don't like, yell too much, we don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 good for us that they're not no I know, she goes, I love it, like yeah. thanks Carl Lagerfeld, just Keep bring, it, bring it, bring it to me. Yeah, yeah, because they come to us, yeah. because I understand that, but, yeah, but we at the same that. time, the security is much more. Back then, it was a little bit more risque. Yeah. No one, no one really knew. Whereas now, everyone knows so much more about security online. Well, and the thing that was that so that helpful so back in the day, because well, we did it alone for so. And like I said, right now, we're not gonna say. I mean, I think we're the best. But what I'm saying, there's some legit people out there. There's some legit <laughs> competition. So I'm saying, we're not just poo pooing all the competition. There's legit people out there doing a good job, and so we don't ever say that that's not true. But back in the day, we were it. And it was actually like this total boon because on eBay there was a bunch of crap fakes. Absolutely. Is that a bad word? I can't remember if that's a bad word. In England, that's a bad word. Anyway, but no, anyway, there's, it's not a, a, bad there's, word anyway. there's a bunch of fakes on <coughs> eBay, and then we were like this like little island, like little haven. Absolutely. And then, but slowly now, what I'm saying, and we've talked about this last night. One of the things the competition has done is just educating everybody totally about Korean yeah. bags. Yeah. And so it's like, it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much competition, this is so hard, but it's really like, oh, the competition is all, we are all teaching everybody, we're all learning about the pre market, we're learning about authentication, we're learning about how resale works. Like we talk about investment bags, some bags aren't an investment. You're going to buy that bag for $5,000 and it's going to lose most of its value and it's going to sell eventually for $800. Right. And we want to teach you, if you care, some people don't care, they're like, I just want that, what's the zhuzh, what is it? You want the zhuzh? You want the zhuzh? I bag. want the zhuzh. I want the bag and I don't care because I want it right now, it's so hot, I don't care if it's $800. Yeah. And, and, so, and, and good for you. But there's other people who go, actually, I'm buying this $5,000 bag because I actually, I hope it keeps most of its value. Excellent. So I can resell and buy more bags. Mm -hmm. I don't have bags money just to do that. The yeah. trust thing you're talking about with the return policy, right. it's interesting that you mentioned that first because really? when I hear that I usually think people say, oh we love you for the trust because of the authenticity and the heritage that we've had. Oh yeah, so hand we, hand When we first well. started, because eBay was the wild, wild west of fakes and stuff like that. They've they got a lot better. They've, they've gotten, gotten so made a lot better, better, better. But yeah. but, and they're still not there. Yeah, no, but, they're not uh, they're they're not definitely like trying, trying it's, it's a different world. But at the day it was very risky to buy an item on eBay a Louis Vuitton item without it being fake. Like, so one of the things that I think the reasons we came out with you know fairly good strength in the beginning was it was trusted name. Like Fashion Fab got trusted for knowing what authenticity is, 
and that alone is of what kept us Absolutely. you know going so now that's still a major factor that you can buy a bag on our site and it's real but now there's even more like that now it's more like the return policy Absolutely. which has been lengthened over time Absolutely. we have to do We've more and more, more to get more trust yeah. and like we're saying the thing that's hard is nowadays you're in indiana and you see this bag, she you're like, said, yeah, I want this you bag. Said that. She said you, that yesterday. You had never carried yeah. it. You've never, never touched, touched it before. Yeah. So we can't expect you to spend $5,800 on a bag, and then we send it to you, and you're like, I had no idea it's that yeah. heavy. I'm like four foot, whatever. You know, I can't carry yeah, absolutely. that. Absolutely. And so we want you to be able to stand in front of your mirror, show your girlfriend, show your friends, Go, what do you think? You know, take a picture, like get yeah. a good idea, and, and you and have that, and then have you love it, you yeah. keep it. You don't yeah. love it, you send it back, and don't think yeah. think about it's it. Absolutely, and get well, it. And somebody else. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's the, the number one thing yeah. I did want yeah. to mention. Sure. I can tell you, as a shopper, and I'm, I guess I'm taking it for granted. Uh, it is but there are absolutely. sites like oh, there's don't do returns. Which no, how can you survive? How can you survive? Like, and the second you see that, the second you see the return policy, it's. It's just, yeah. it's in the bag yeah. because you're ticking so many boxes. I've saved the amount of money. I've saved the amount of money with shipping on top. I've saved the amount of money. Yeah. Oh, and oh, I put it on layaway as well. And if I'm not sure I can return, oh, I can put it back yeah. on the shelf with just putting the right. restocking fee. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. You're ticking so many boxes. And yeah. as a customer, like I'm, that's from a customer's yeah. perspective as well. That's what our number one, people come to our site and the number one thing, people just stop are newly listed. Just because it's like, what did they freaking get today? No, so, you know, I started another hashtag probably about a year and a half ago. Your hashtag is crazy, <laughs> by the way. The hashtag new arrivals? Yeah, new arrivals. <laughs> new arrivals is yeah. live. Hashtag. Yeah. It's she, like, can, she can create the longest hashtag. Yeah. Because, no, I did it because the subby said to me in a comment when I was doing, I, I don't know, I did some video unboxing whatever, and they were like, oh my, and I said, you guys, I'm just sitting on that site. I put my baby to bed. I put my 16 month old to bed. I sit on your site and I follow, I heart, your heart program. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. show you that below. I might put a link to my, what, what what's in my like huh. love and follow category. Yeah, okay. And I was meant to be looking at it right now. It's like 150 items. Um, but I just sit and I like all the different things and I sit on new arrivals. It's like so hash, new arrivals. Is, new arrivals is like new arrivals. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, we are going to wrap up this interview, guys. I have had the absolute blessing to be able to sit with these two and get a few little back, back end details on their phenomenal company. Truthfully, truthfully, you know that I, yes, I blog for these guys and I rep for them. But I don't do it unless I honestly believe in a company. These guys stand for everything that I, even as a businesswoman, stand for. That everything my, even my mother stands for as a real estate agent. Transparency, authentic, not just in the handbags, but as in human beings. They're not out there to rip you off. They're not out there to, you know, get something out of it for themselves. It's their business, but they're working for their customer. And that shines through their business. When you're here... All their employees are like amazing and happy and love their job. Clearly, the space is so positive and open and it has been a complete honor. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, so much, it's been a pleasure to have you. So and I reciprocate because recipro yeah. you know I've said this a million times. Yeah. It's totally true. That's why I feel like that you work for us. Like we love you because yeah. you are real too. They know you're not going to say... You know, something you say what you mean. Yeah. Totally. If something's not right, totally. you call yeah. it out. If something's yeah. not, you know... and. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, last night at the meet and greet, one of my subbies said to me, you know, how do you deal with the hate and people, you know, calling right. me fat or this? I said, right. you can come on my channel, on any of my socials and call me fat and ugly yeah. and do all this crap. Yeah. I don't care, right? But if you come on my channel and call me fake, that's yeah. what hurts me the most because... Right. There couldn't be any more part of me that is just yeah. who I am. And to and this trip in itself proved that that a company of the size of Fashion File would fly a little Australian Trust me, there's out. There's not a lot of money going on here. Yeah, I exactly. Love it. You I love are. it. And, that's and I'm honored to be here. Yeah. And when they build New York, oh, you'll be coming. Yeah, guess who's She's coming? coming. coming I am taking you guys with me yeah. to yeah. New York Absolutely. boutique. They've just yeah. signed. 
their lease yeah. in New York. Ben is going tomorrow morning on the red eye. Sure. I just yeah. I just saw you. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> flight getting booked. Whether, whether you knew that yeah. or not, your Good flight's no. just booked. She's just looking. He's looking over on yeah. the shoulder. And like you, you you're going whether yeah. you know it or not. So but we're talking like. March before we get get you guys out there. Probably. Oh my god! I would, they're coming to the east coast. Yeah. I got so many subbies saying, "Hello, can't they come to the east coast?" Well, your You're prayers wrong. have been answered. A boutique is coming. You can sell. There are so many amazing items in the East Coast. Yeah. I know that. So if you are oh, over yeah. a bag or sunglasses or shoes, you can sell to them. That is the biggest amazing point to this company as well is it's an outlet to sell. I get asked all the time, "Where do I sell my luxury? Or where can I sell my luxury jewelry yeah. This is where you can we'll take it. it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this phenomenal interview with the two CEOs of Fashion File. It is the most amazing company. Trust me, believe me. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed watching this video, guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace. Peace. <laughs>